I added a eye gauging DRO to my 9A South Bend lathe. I went with eye gauging because it was inexpensive and it had really good reviews and it was low profile and you can also cut it real easy to any length you want. I got some ideas from watching some other YouTube videos. I mounted the display on a uh, magnetic stand that I can move around wherever I need. I added a cover with a thumb screw so I can cover up the slot that I needed to open up so I could get the Allen wrench into the set screw for the compound. And with the cover closed I don't have to worry about chips falling down inside where the reader is. I checked it against the dial marks and it's dead on. It's just a lot easier for me to see. That's 10 right there. It's really accurate. I used a scrap piece of 3 by 2 aluminum angle that I had laying around to make the uh, cover for the slide. I didn't videotape cutting all these contours because you can imagine it took a while to get it right. I mounted the cross slide in the milling vise and made sure it was perfectly level. And then I had to mill flats on the 
side of it for the cover that goes over the DRO. I used some round aluminum stock to make spacers for the reader. The reader and the scale are together so they have to be spaced out equally. These four holes are threaded already. Well, all of them are threaded. But I'm going to use these four. So now the reader's on there. I'm pretty happy with it. It's pretty snug. The one thing I'm not happy about is the opening that I made for the set screw for the compound. Still will let chips go down inside where the reader is, so I might make a little cover with a thumb screw and it'll clear it'll clear the compound. And I can just open it up when I need to adjust the compound. This little thumb screw knob came with the DRO. So I think I'm going to drill and tap it right there and make a cover that slides back and forth. The instructions say to wrap the reader in a plastic bag, tape it up real tight, and don't remove it from the uh, scale because if you do, it'll avoid the warranty. I almost pulled it off and I thought I better look before I did. But um, we'll just cut it right there and put the end back on and then clean everything up.
I used small shim washers to make sure that the aluminum angle was parallel to the cross slide.